This is a very quick tour of the uh, PIC Basic Pro uh, Master software. Uh, as you can see, that's the first time I've had this running. You can see it on the screen today. It's interrogating uh, a single slave, as you can see uh, on the uh, test bed there. And uh, we have two I squared C temperature sensors running. And if you look uh, closely, you can see that. Uh, now within a tenth of a degree of each other, so that to uh, demonstrate the accuracy of those. I'm using a simulated load of uh, 50 amps, and you can see this is a state of charge, etc. Trundle going down. Now I'm going to just uh, activate the menu system, see the two options that we have. Uh, Sub-menu 1, you can start the charge, reset the state of charge, reset the trip meter, reset the odometer, or you can go to sub-menu 2, and there can be as many of these as we like. This one displays the individual cell voltages, uh, allows you to update the slaves using the command system and uses you, allows you to transmit the battery management system data which is stored in an EEPROM to uh, an external device, a computer, uh, using the remote um, display module. And the temperature ROM allows you to interrogate individual I squared C temperature sensors so you can get the serial numbers from them which are needed to uh, uh, use the software. You have to include that data in the software. So we'll just have a quick uh, demonstration of the update facility. Now command 9 just flashes the uh, load LED on the slaves. So I'm just going to send that. Uh, confirm. And that's acknowledged OK. And uh, you couldn't see it there. The slave LED just came on for half a second and it's gone back off again. And we have a new uh, command now to report the slave software version number so I'm just going to go to command 12 send that confirm and see there it says it's slave 1 is version 1 uh, and it would uh, have a scrolling list there uh, of all the slaves and uh, you would be able to tell that they were all running the same version of the software and that's useful and I do recommend that people label the slave boards and the master picks etc with the version of software that's currently loaded makes debugging a lot easier. I did get myself into a bit of a mess this last week or so uh, I've managed to straighten myself out now. Now it's looking like the um, pickaxe version of the master uh, I'm probably going to stop development on that now and I'm going to concentrate on the pick basic pro version of the master which is uh, working uh, well enough probably to be tested on my uh, on my vehicle I'm still waiting for the 25 cell slave boards to arrive from the printed circuit board manufacturer. Once they've arrived and I've built up those boards, I shall test the system on a 50 cell uh, setup. But uh, you know, I've made some good progress over the last couple of weeks and uh, it looks like this is going to be a cheaper option so we can use bare picks instead of the pickaxe uh, chips. So we can use the plain pick 16F886 chips for the master board. That's it for the moment and uh, I'll keep you updated.